Hi guys, welcome back again on my channel. My name is Bukola, for those of you who are new here. And if it's your first time seeing my face or getting to know about my existence, I film about skincare, YouTube tips, and lifestyle vlog on this channel. And I want you to know that we have enough room and you are welcome. Feel free to join the family. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and make sure you like this video as well because it's really going to help my algorithm. You guys, if you don't know, liking videos really help my algorithm. Please, even if you are not going to drop a comment, I'm begging you the name of God, just like the video. It's really, really going to push it more to more audience and I will be so grateful. So you guys, I know I have been away for some time now, maybe four or five days. It's all because I have exam i just finished the one that i'm most scared about yesterday and i kind of feel like i'm in the right mental space now to film and best believe i handle almost like three channels three active channels so sometimes it might be a test to me mentally and i just want to push the three in one side and just live my life so today i'm going to be answering you people's question but before i answer you people's question I want to ask if there is anybody using this particular cream. I think this is Macari. I don't know if people know this cream. This is Macari cream. I just want to ask if I have anybody using it because I really want to review it. I have somebody using it, but the person is not using it again. And I literally told the person to stop because of some things that I noticed. And I just want to talk about it maybe if, in case you are using it or in case you want to get it. And best believe this cream is expensive. So just let me know if you guys want me to review it, then I will do that. So in the recap video today, the very first question that I have here is how much is retinoid? Tretinoid is just like 253k, it depends on the percentage, maybe 0 0.025, maybe 2500 or 3000. It's not expensive, that's just it. It's not expensive, and it's something that you use a pea size, so it should last you for a while. So don't don't think it's expensive, it's not something that expensive. 253k, depending on the percent. You get what I mean. The second question that I have here is how can I use stay young on my face because I walk in the sun? If you are using stay young and you know you can afford to apply your sunscreen to two hours or three hours every day then best believe you can use it under the sun but if you know that you don't have the time or you might probably forget to reapply your sunscreen then definitely shift your um stay young usage tonight you are even going to see a very good result that's just it because at night time your skin is rested like it gets into your skin very well you are rested all your this thing is working perfectly and functioning fine and yeah so you can always use it at night unless you know you can always reapply your sunscreen in the day that's where you can use it during the sun because uh, most because stay young we always burn your skin if you do not protect your skin enough and i've been hearing that there has been a lot of fake i don't know how i can really identify the fake physically until i smell it i have a thing to do with smell so whatever thing i'm using or whatever thing that i buy for people i smell them to know the original so when i see that it doesn't look like the original even if it's a product that i know that i have to open it and pay before i can smell it sometimes i will tell the person to let me be honest with you this thing it is fake that they sold. So that's just it. So sometimes you might not know until you open the product. The only way I can, or I'll be able to identify a fake stay young cream is just the smell. I know the original smell. So I don't know how I can explain it to you guys, but that's just what it is. So if you're walking under the sun, shift your usage to maybe night and then use a moisturizer during the day. I don't know if you understand, but just switch it like that. And if you ask me what you're supposed to be using during the day, you can go in with your moisturizer and go in with your um, what's it called, your sunscreen as well. You are good to go. Your moisturizer, your face toner, your cleanser, that's okay enough in the morning. So at night, then use those things you think that they are hurting and a bit strong. Next question that I have is, does the Ashanti scrub work well on dark spots and pimples? You guys, Ashanti scrub mix, uh, mix is still what I use to date. And I can tell you that it is effective, but I do not use it on my face, and I'm not going to advise you to use it on your face. If you want to use something like that on your face, just get a salicylic, a proper salicylic acid cleanser for your face. I always tell you sometimes the things you use on your body, if you start to use it on your face, it might give you a reverse effect. So I'm not going to advise you to use the Ashanti mix on your face, but if you have a body acne and you have body and you have dark spot on your body as well, and you have knuckles and stuff like that, then you can always use the Ashanti mix. 
mix. So that's going to work for pimples. I want to like, I'm believing the pimples you're talking about is the one on your body and not on your face because I'm not going to be advising you to use that on your face, okay? Um, next question that I have here is, can a pregnant woman use retinoid? I would not advise you to use a retinoid if you're pregnant or better still see a dermatologist to put to you through. I am not a dermatologist, so see a dermatologist for you to be sure and be very, very okay that you are on the right path. Next question that I have here is, um, where can I get the Aqui seed from? You can get Aqui seed from all these people that sell Ibo, Ibo food or Ibo soup, um, this thing, ingredients. They use it to cook as well. So all these, all those mama that they are always selling all these ingredients that they put inside all this Ibo soup or Ibo, this thing. So you can always get it from them. They sell it. Aqui seed should not be stars. If you go to the market, just ask all these Ibo people, they would even direct it to where you can get it, okay? Here is, can I use clear nature on my body and stay young on my face? Of course you can. But I noticed that clear nature um, lotion or body milk work best in a cool environment. If you're in a place where it is sunny, you might really or probably not like the effect or maybe shift the usage tonight as well. But if you're in a cold country, a cool country, that the weather is not hot, your skin is not always like um, frustrated in heat. Definitely, you're going to like the result. And stay on cream can be used on your face as well. And when you start using the stay on cream on your face for straight for two weeks, start splitting it out. You can use it like maybe three to four times in a week because it is effective. Um, next question that I have here is I am using the green peel the lawn cleanser and my face is getting red. Definitely, maybe your face, your face does not like it, or probably the combination of other things that you are using with the pure the long cleanser is not adding up, or they don't like each other. So if you kind of see like that's the effect you get when you use the pure the long cleanser, it might, it might be too strong for your skin. Probably just shift to another cleanser, and that's why I always tell you guys that this Santad cleanser. That's why I tell people to mix it as well because that's the very first complaint that I have from some people saying that oh it makes my face red it might be too concentrated for your face you might probably just dilute it with some rose water and see how it goes if you still see the same effect probably your skin does not like it then stop and switch to a better one that you feel your skin is going to like and make sure you check the ingredients if it is written on the bottle as well so as to avoid it in the next things that you are going to get that's another way for you to enlighten yourself on stuff that you use on your skin um next question that i have here is can i had perfect face and rapid white Nicer together in a face cream. Yes, you can. They can go. All I always say is have your have your recipe. Know what you are adding. Like know the percentage. Don't don't overdo. Don't say because this one is good, then I have to pour the entire bottle into 20 ml of a cream to mix it with the 20 ml cream. No, just write out your formula and make sure that maybe you test the pH as well, just to be on the safe side. Okay. If you don't know what pH is, check online to know um more about pH as well. The last question that I have here is, can I mix E45 cream with Pimento Serum? It's really been long since I even held one, like open one to know what's up with Pimento Serum. But if you want to mix a serum with E45 moisturizing lotion, I am going to say mix it with glutasy Serum. The reason why I'm saying mix it with glutasy Serum is because my mind is still at rest with glutasy Serum. It's still working very fine. The only, maybe, not negative, but maybe a complaint that I have about glutasy is that some people say that it dries out their skin. Probably, if the cream is moisturizing enough and you want to add glutasy to it, it might probably not dry out your skin. So I think that's how it's going to work. So make sure that you just like mix it with like glutasy. I'm not going to tell you. Pimento 2 was good then. I can't say for now because I know how all these things work. I know sometimes they change. Sometimes some people start complaining, oh, I'm using it before I don't use it again because it does not work again. So it's been long since I really, really checked that. But for now, the one I can be my chest for you that I can mix with your E45 moisturizing lotion is Luta C Serum and you're going to be fine. Okay, so those are all the questions that I have here. If you guys want me to review this lotion, then let me know. I am definitely going to be doing that for you guys. And that is all that I have for you today. Day. don't forget that i said please help my ministry by liking this video and i just subscribe if you like the video and want to be part of the family thank you so much for joining me today guys i will definitely see you guys in my next one